So this is the new Dunlop CX200 Tour 2024. Is it worth the update? Let's find out. What is going on guys and welcome to another video. Um, just like I promised, this is my review of the Dunlop CX200 Tour 1619 2024. So let's jump right into it guys. Um, just like it's a little brother, the CX Tour regular, um, this one also has a box shape head um, below the 10 and 12 o'clock spot to basically enhance the stability, the control, and the feel. This one also has the new technology from Dunlop, which is called Power Grid String Tech, which is basically a wider cross string spacing um, to create more spin or, or power. Um, the stiffness profile also has been updated on the inside part of the frame and the racket face too, just to enhance the uh, overall pocketing feel. Also with the addition of this highly elastic material called VibroShield, uh, the midsection of both the hoop and the shaft complements the uh, Sonic Core technology, which Dunlop's been using for years in their racket, um, which is basically a uniquely pliable material that has been applied at the three and nine o'clock uh, on the head. Again, just to increase more uh, the comfort uh, portion of this racket and the power So not bad um, Very clean on the back end for me um, A little bit wobbly on the forehand uh, By the time that I played with it a few few more hours I should see a difference, but so far Really compact field Not bad at all. Let's keep going So yeah, um, so for those uh, racket, the CX200 Tour and the CX200 Regular, um, they use the same technology for these 2024 models. So if we take a look at the specs here, guys, as you can see, most of the overall specs are unchanged, um, but there's two um, differences, like the swing weight, which is basically lower, and the stiffness which is uh, actually higher so if you felt like the previous version the 2021 uh, had too much uh, mass going through the ball while you were swinging it um, this one might be a good option for you and on the other hand if you felt like the previous model was too flexible well this one because it has a three point uh, more stiffness this one might actually um, fits you need even more extremely very very nice feeling uh, after hitting with it a few more hours very pleased with it you get great great control surprising because uh, the last time I played with a 95 square inch is a long time ago but uh, so far very impressive so yeah, um, sorry for that guys, I was actually out of breath <laughs> after that, uh, that last point. Uh, but yeah, um, it was a great feeling um, with this racket. And for that playtest, I actually uh, strung it with a Polytor Strike. And I wanted to try something different uh, regarding the tension. Um, if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I like to string in the high 50s. Uh, but I wanted to try something completely different, so I went with 40 pounds, and I actually, I was actually surprising how well it played. So if you guys were wondering if I would switch for this racket, uh, my answer would be no for now, simply because it is a little bit too heavy for my liking. Um, that was like a soft practice. Um, but if I had to play more and more for a um, longer amount of time, I think my arm would actually feel it. 
but um, the plow through that you actually get with this racket was truly amazing. I mean, both on my forehand and my backhand. And a special mention for me is that I didn't have any pain in my arm, which is always a big plus for me. The CX200 Tour at the net. Very solid, very compact. Probably me because of the weight. But so far, I prefer it a little bit more than the uh, 200. So yeah, um, the stability that I got at the net was great. Um, I literally felt like I could miss, even though I did. Uh, but it's, uh, I found that it had tons, tons of control in that department. So for me, at the volley, this racket is A+. So yeah, um, but unfortunately, it's not the whippiest of racket, uh, but, it hit, but it is a head-like racket as you can see here guys from this clip. Um, so going over the ball and brushing it like good at times felt truly wonderful. Um, I found it to be very maneuverable for the weight. Uh, it was quite surprising uh, to be honest because usually a 95 square inch racket is more on the heavy side and sometimes it can be hard to maneuver. Um, but for this one, it's not that bad. Um, so for me, this racket would reward uh, powerful strokes with uh, pinpoint accuracy. It is great at redirecting incoming fastball as well as generating pace. If you, let's say if you have a good contact in front of the ball, it's truly a great feeling. Um, I also felt like the sweet spot could be a little bit bigger because as it is a 95 square inch racket, you don't have a lot of margin, but somehow at times it didn't feel like a 95 square inch racket, which was very nice. On serve, uh, it was actually a very nice play test for me. Um, for some reason, it actually went very good on the first serve. Um, basically with all the plow through that this racket has, um, going down on the ball, um, it gives you like a massive impact, if I should say. So uh, if you have a very good serve, I think this racket will work for you. Uh, on return to serve, um, just like the saying, you basically let the racket do the talking. Um, again, with all the mass that it has, whether you are redirecting a ball, guiding it, or even swinging it at times, it felt truly like a, a great, great feeling. Um, I did notice that if you are a little bit late, uh, you might find it challenging um, connecting the ball at the right spot. But uh, as we all know, it goes with a lot of rackets anyways, so yeah. So, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope everything was helpful to you. If it did, feel free to give me a like. It helped the channel to grow. If this racket or all the gear that I've used in this video seems appealing to you, I would have them listed in the description. If you got any questions or comment, guys, feel free to let me know. It will be my pleasure answering them. Till next time. And remember, guys, you got this.